my other video on this subject is uh, it is 86% uploaded, but I feel responsible to this point. The plot thickens, or the thick plottens, as they say, on this Facebook situation. It turns out that, um, and, and I didn't know this, I didn't look this deeply into it, I just assumed it was a DNS problem, but oh my god, the rabbit hole does not stop. Um, apparently last night on 60 Minutes, um, last night, today is the 4th of October, so the 3rd of October, there was a whistleblower from Facebook who produced a bunch of documentation to back up what she said, and Facebook's got like a lawsuit against him from the FTC, Federal Trade Commission in the United States, and it, uh, just, it, it, they pulled the plug, dude. They pulled the plug. Like, it, it's not, it's probably not a mistake. Facebook probably, allegedly, if you will, pulled the plug on their own site so they could cover it up. So they could get rid of the evidence. So that no one could find the evidence. They, like, I, I mean, and look, this is, like, conjecture, rumor mill, whatever you want to call it. I, I can't guarantee this is factual. Um, but this thing that I was looking at earlier that I have somehow managed to lose. Oh, here it is. Um, Facebook filed a motion to dismiss the Federal Trade Commission's amended antitrust, blah, 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 saying the agency's complaint still lacked evidence Facebook violated antitrust laws. But now Facebook's completely flipped the switch off on Facebook to the point that they can't immediately get it back. Oh, Oh, that's nice. That's some nice plausible deniability you got there, Zuck. Nice plausible deniability, because now that you've flipped off all your routers, you can't possibly, it is physically impossible for you to get the site back up and running in a timely manner, which means you can scrub those servers and have an excuse, which means that Facebook can cover up whatever they want, and they have an excuse. They have a, a valid excuse, because basically what they've done is the equivalent of... Um, Let's say you live out in the country, and there's only one driveway that leads up to your house, and let's say that you just, uh, I don't know, blew it up. Like just, boom, blew a crater in your driveway to where you can't go anywhere. Like you have a bridge over a creek on your, in your driveway, and you just, boom, bridge gone. So now you can't leave home until you fix the bridge, but the trick is... You still technically have access to your home and all the areas around it and whatnot. So you can clean up all the stuff, but nobody can get to your home. That's what they've done. They're hiding it. They're hiding it. And they're not even doing a good job of hiding it. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I, I just feel responsible since we've, I, I went from, oh, yay, Facebook is down, to we need to cut ourselves off from Facebook and grow as a society away from individual services and away from social media as a dependency that we live off of to, holy crap, they're covering it up. Holy crap. They are, they are caught in 8K. And right now what they're trying to do is smear the video. That is so funny. Oh my God, this is... What an exciting time to be alive, don't you think? I love that I don't turn my phone notifications off. Jody Bruchon signing out because I, I just, I have to laugh some more. I'll see you. Bye.